There are various means of transportation. You've got the car, the bus, the train, the airplane, and of course, the good old bicycle. The bicycle is by far the most popular means of transportation in the Netherlands. But why? For the answer on this question, we have to go back to the origin. The first bicycle was made in 1817 by the German Baron Karl von Drees. He developed the running machine. In 1863, a French metal worker got inspired by this running machine and created the first pedal operated bicycle. This bicycle had a big front wheel and a small wheel in the back. Since then, people came up with different creations of bicycles. In 1818 came the bicycle as we know it now. In the beginning, the bicycle was only for the rich ones who could afford one. A lot of people got their own bicycle nowadays. You've got different ways to take your kids with you on the bicycle. For example, you can make a little seat on the back of the bicycle and on the handlebar. Or a kind of little trailer behind your bicycle where the kids are sitting in. The best thing of cycling in the summer is the cool breeze blowing through your hair and it's an easy way to get yourself a nice tan. Another highlight during cycling in the summer could be grabbing and enjoying an ice cream. In the Netherlands we even got special roads for the bicycle. This is ideal because you can drive safely to your destination. When you ride on these bicycle roads, you will see the most beautiful spots of your own village or town. You've got cycling tours as well, for all your friends or you can ride a bicycle just for fun. All these things said and done, cycling is one of the best and most done hobbies of the world. Like a lot of people, I hope it will stay like this for a long, long time. A bike is a very useful means of transportation. We use the bike for different purposes. For every purpose, the bike is adapted to a specific situation. And that's why there are so many different types of bikes. If you use it for work, like these delivery men, the bike must have good brakes. And in the back of the bicycle, there must be a special connection for a potential bike trailer. If you use a bike for recreation, you mostly use a city bike or a mountain bike. This bike must be very strong and be able to stand rough handling. For racing, a bike must be light weighted and with as little resistance as possible. If you use a bike for entertaining, the bike must be unique. The BMX is an example of an entertaining bike. Or what about this one? This is the highest bicycle in the world. Is it very practical? No, not really. But it is very entertaining. And this is the unicycle which is also a very unique bike. The positive sides of the bicycle are, for example, sustainable, because you don't use gasoline, but you use your own energy and that's why it's healthy. As well, you don't have to struggle to find a parking place, because you can park your bike wherever you want. Even when all the bicycle stands are full, there is still enough place to park your bicycle. There are as well negative sides of the bicycle. It takes longer to get at your destination. For very long distances it's not practical to use a bike. You get wet when it rains unless you use an umbrella or a raincoat. Winter is the biggest enemy of the cyclist. Your limbs are freezing off and the roads are like skating rinks. So when you fall you can get seriously injured. But when you know the traffic rules, there's nothing to worry about.
Every year, thousands of bikes get stolen in the Netherlands. That's why a good lock is very important. You don't want to step out and see that your wheel is missing, your saddle is missing, or your entire bike is missing. That's never fun. You can think that you don't need a lock, because no one would want a bike that is as old as the dinosaurs. But then you are wrong. It will still get nicked. There are different types of locks, and their quality is expressed in stars. One star is the poorest quality. We are talking about the kind of locks thieves can unlock in no time. Four stars is the best, and then we are talking about these big chain locks. Most bicycle locks are two stars. People always find their way to steal a bike. The best advice I can give you is to fasten your bike on a pole or the bike stand with the best chain lock possible. But even then, they can still steal your bike. Repair your bicycle. I'm going to explain you what you could do when you've got problems with your bicycle. Step 1 Find out what's wrong with your bicycle. Step 2 Search for the right equipment so you can repair the problem of your bicycle. Step 3 Make sure you know how to repair the problem so you wouldn't make another problem. Step 4 Repair it Step 5 Check if your reparation really solved the problem And the last step, step 6 Enjoy driving your bicycle again The development of the bicycle is still continuing. People are coming up with more and more modern technologies for the bicycle. We already have bike gears on the bicycle, what makes it easier to cycle faster and to cycle uphill. Snow is beautiful and as you know it is not so comfortable to cycle through. It is very slippery because you don't have a lot of grip on the roads. But there is a solution for that. Just as cars does, the bicycle also has special tires for winter. The difference between a normal tire and a winter tire is the profile. The winter tire has a deeper profile, which ensures that water and snow is processed effectively providing you with more grip on the road. When there is ice, it is slippery, even with winter tires. The only tires providing grip are the tires with spikes. Another development is the e-bike. The e stands for electric. So it is an electric bike what makes it easier to cycle faster. A positive side is that you can charge your mobile phone on a bicycle. The only thing that is missing is a phone holder. Every now and then, you have to charge the battery of the bicycle. The e-bike is getting more and more popular. In 2012, all bikes dropped in sales, except the electric bicycle. If you're thinking about buying an electric bicycle, you need a big wallet. An e-bike will cost you somewhere between 900 and 6,000 euros. Music videos and bicycles. From the year 1961, the music video became a bigger thing every year. You can see them on the television and on the internet. 
In a lot of videos, you will see the artist having fun on stage or at a party. But when you take a good look at the videos, you will see in almost everyone a bicycle. Maybe the bicycle is passing by in the back? Or the artist of the music video is riding the bicycle himself. For example, Snoop Dogg, Kesha and Skylar Grey. Like in 2009, Snoop Dogg used a bicycle with three wheels as decoration in the back of the video while he was rapping. And later in the video, you will see his son sitting on the bicycle. And Kesha used a pimp bicycle in her music video as well this year. The bike had a lot of mirrors and shiny gold decoration on it. The bicycle became as well a popular subject to sing and rap about, like Eminem and Skylar Grey. They sing and rap about riding a bicycle. Come on, let me ride is the name of the song. But the song with the most listeners and downloads was Bicycle by Queen. Say Lord. I say Christ, I don't believe in Peter Pan.